Okay, so I'm outside here, and uh, I just finished building this frame for my Fresnel lens. Um, and it took me about two hours to build. Uh, this is what it looks like here. So it has uh, just A-frame legs, uh, and then it's on a, well, frame. There's the lens inside there, and it's on a, obviously a swivel. I got it balanced pretty well, um, so that it's not trying to fall either way. Um, and these are wing nuts, and it comes apart real easy so that you can uh, take it apart um, and, you know, store it away. So let's try to burn some stuff. And we got instant fire. And that didn't take too long to start melting the surface of the rock there. There it is. That's the dirt turned to lava. This nail, it's actually welded to the rock now. Okay, for those of you who don't know, this is a focus tube. Um, all it is, uh, this is a piece of PVC, and uh, it doesn't really matter the length so much, but uh, the longer it is, the more accurate it is. Uh, so, uh, if it's too long, obviously, it's not going to be very accurate because it's going to flex, but you know, you probably want it to be uh, an inch or two, probably closer to two inches. And what you do is you take, um, this is just an example, this isn't my focus tube. Uh, so this is a just a hole. Here. This is a piece of duct tape, so it allows pretty much no light through except for right in the center. And at the bottom, you have a translucent piece of tape. Anything that's translucent is fine. Paper, whatever. And then what you do is you hold it up. Ah, almost fell there. Hold it up to the sun, and then as you can see, there's a dot. And if it's right in the in the exact center of that then what you have is it angled perfectly at the sun. So if you want to mount this to, uh, or since I'm going to mount this, something like this to my Fresnel frame, uh, it will give me a very accurate angle to the sun, and that will give me the best possible um, uh, chance to get the highest temperatures.